Hey, what's going on everybody? I am your host, Cameron, and today we are going to be continuing with a series on how to make a 5 inch British fan game in Click Team Fusion 2.5. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about making multiple nights, so making a night 1, night 2, night 3, all of that. Um, in today's episode specifically, we're just going to go up to night 5 and make 5 nights and that's pretty much all we're going to be doing today. Um, now this tutorial isn't going to be too hard since all we're doing is just cloning uh, my night one frame four times, uh, making each night a little bit more difficult, and then just that's pretty much it. Um, so you might as well just get started. Now when it comes to making multiple nights, there are technically two ways to make um, multiple nights. One way is of course by adding a new frame and then going like night two, night three, night four, all of that. Um, but, and that is what we are going to be doing since the other way is a little more confusing. Um, since we haven't, oops, since we haven't really, um, or I haven't really taught that yet. But the other way to make multiple nights is you have just one singular frame for one night. And you kind of use a lot of I and I saving stuff, and you make it so that it all goes to one night, and you, you it's just a lengthy process. And I myself have never made a FNAF fan game where it's only one frame as your night for all of your nights, like nights one through five, including a custom night. I've never done that for just one singular frame. Um, the only other time I've actually made multiple nights was, of course, going over to my nights and just cloning like the night frames and then just making each night a little bit more difficult and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's episode because it's just a lot easier than that other way and to be honest i have no idea how long this episode is going to be because i haven't done like a pre-recording to test you know how long this is going to be because it, it can either be really short or really long since the topic is fairly understandable but it doesn't matter so what we have done so far throughout all of my tutorials, if you've been watching since part one, is we've worked on basically night one, and our nights are pretty much complete. The only thing we have left to do now for all of our nights is to make a save file for all of them, but that will be the next tutorial, I'm pretty sure, because we're on part 10, and there's only 12 parts to this, including some side stuff, but we're on part 10, multiple nights, next episode, we're discussing... Uh, saving so this is just going to be kind of like the bare bones version of that but since we are already on night one and we already have all of our stuff in night one it would be a little stupid to make a new frame and then title it night two and then insert all of this stuff onto that including all the code and stuff like that because one that would be too long and two that would be too tedious so another way to do this is we just go over to our night one we go right click and we go clone so we do that we can clone it do not copy and paste it and do not duplicate it just right click and then clone it um or you can't really duplicate it but you know what i mean and once you've done that go over to your cloned at night one and just rename it to uh night two okay title at night two and before we actually do that um, I think in the last episode we did 6 a.m. Can we do anything with this now? Turn it right next night. Um, nah, we're, we're, we're gonna worry about that during saving. But, go back to your night 2 frame, and once you have all that done, go up to your event editor, and basically what we're going to do is, we're necessarily just gonna make all of our later nights just harder versions of night 1. Which is obvious, because as you get later on to the game, the game is gonna get much harder. Um, and with that being said, we're just gonna go around and mess with some stuff. So we're gonna go over to, um, I think we should start off with our AI, since AI is probably the most important. And since AI, since our AI is gonna be much faster later on in the game, we're just gonna go over to our every, our random events, and I'm just gonna make them a bit faster. And I mean, I mean, I, I do mean a bit, so... I'm going to change this second number from 252, let's just say 200, I guess, and we'll just keep the 100 the same. So, like I said before, it's a bit faster than night one, but not too much faster to the point where it's like, noticeable. So we do that, or it's going to be noticeable, but you know what I mean. So we have that, and we're going to do the same thing for Chica, 
I'm gonna go over to our every R random event, and I'm just gonna change this last number to 250, I think. And I'm actually gonna change this left number to 150 because she could, needs to be a little quicker. So we have that done. And if you want to, you can also go over to your um, like Bonnie location and countdown counters, and instead of making it to that starter frame, Bonnie's Bonnie's like kind of startup counters 100. You can just go over and edit it to be like 75 if you want to. You can make it short if you want to. I'm gonna keep it to 100 though and just do it like that. And excuse me, another thing I forgot. Well, I forgot, but obviously if you change your every event, well, actually, no, you don't. It's not really that. You don't really have to change this, but you can also go over to your like every counter or random 100, 200 whenever like the um bonnie location counter is lower or equal to zero and chica one too like you could change it so that oh chica moves oh i'm gonna just go over to where her countdown is gonna restart and instead of making it 100 when she restarts i'm gonna make it to 75 you know um i'm gonna do the same thing for bonnie uh you know oh bonnie moved all right i'm gonna go over and just make him his like, counter much faster so instead of it being 100 200 I'm gonna just change it to like 75 to 150, you know? And that's pretty much the gist of it. And you can even go down to your power over here and just go like, ah, uh, you know, the night one was a bit too easy on the power. We're gonna make it more difficult by going like, instead of 2500 and 3,300, 3, maybe make it 2500 and 27, 20, 275,000. That's not thousand, but you know. Pretty much just all of that. Like you could change this however you want to. Um, make your animatronics faster. Make the counter like make the time go slower. Anything really. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, making multiple nights is not something that's very hard. And to further prove this, we're gonna just do this for the rest of our night. So night two, uh, I'm gonna right click and clone it again, and I'm gonna rename this clone to night three. And you guessed it, I am going to make, you know, Night 3 a lot more difficult. So I'm going to go back down to my animatronic AI. And I'm going to go, you know, every R random 100 to 200. No, nah, no, nah, we're going to go every 75 to 150. Just, I don't know. And, oh, when Bonnie moves during this night, I'm going to make it even shorter. So, this kind of startup counter is going to be 50 to... 150 I, I don't know anything could work really in this anything could work really um every 150 to 250 i'm gonna change that to just 125 to 200 i don't know you can really make these numbers however you want but it's fairly simple what i'm doing and uh yeah and then once you're done with like that night you fiddle with everything there i'm gonna go over to my night three i'm gonna clone it and then title that clone, you know, Night 4. And then I'm going to do the same thing there. Going to make it even more difficult. And then Night 5 would be, like, the most difficult. Well, technically, that would be, like, a Night 6, but I'm not going to add a Night 6 into this. Um, but, yeah, that's basically the gist of the tutorial. Like, it, it's not, like, super difficult. Basically, you just clone and copy. Or not copy, but you clone your layer. Or not, God damn it. You clone your frames, your night frames, and then just title it like night one, night two, night three, all depending on which one you're on, and then just make it a bit harder. Now you will have to do some playtesting to see if it's actually fair or not, which I'm gonna have to do that because I have no idea if this is even gonna work or not. But you know, as you can see, if I load up my frame, like this is obviously a lot harder because they're gonna be moving a lot more quicker since it is night four after all. Which these guys should be moving, yeah. See, Bonnie's moving quick. And my power's going on really fast. Oh, that's because I have that door closed. But as you can see, like, they, they're moving fast. Like, like it, it is working. And, you know, it, and you want it to kind of be noticeable like that. Like, you want your animatronics to be harder. Because, obviously, once you get into the game, you're, you're, the player that's playing your game is obviously invested into your game. And understands it a little bit but a little bit by little and then 
eventually they fully understand it and want to challenge, like I do for most games. And once you have that, I'm just going to go right click, clone it again, and then rename this one to Night 5. And then I'm going to make this one the hardest challenge or whatnot. So go in, go over, and then I'm going to just go down to my animatronic AI. And like I said before, it doesn't need to be animatronic AI. It could be anything. It could be power. It could be really anything. Like you can mess with anything in this. It's your game. Like, I'm not forcing you to do this. You don't even need to follow what I'm doing. But, like, just make, just making the game harder, you know? And that's honestly pretty much it for the tutorial. Yeah, I, I thought that this tutorial wasn't going to be too long, but this tutorial is just basic cloning and then just mess around, make multiple nights and stuff like that. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be discussing I and I saving which is basically just a save file for your game. So it's basically like a detective to say, hey, you're on this night, you go over to your continue feature, and then you're like, hey, I wanna go over to this night, and then all of that. So be prepared for the next tutorial since it is going to be more confusing. It's gonna be one of the more confusing tutorials we've ever done. In fact, I would say it's probably gonna be the hardest tutorial we've ever done. Don't quote me on that, but I just have a sneaky suspicion it might be. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Uh, let me know if you need help. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.